and welcome back. This week we're going to do a nice easy one because Chef Paul is finding it very hard to walk as I've got these blinking things. Now then, we're doing Irish cream cheesecake. You will need 55 grams of butter, which we're going to melt, and 120 sorry 175 grams of cookies whatever you want digestive biscuits ginger biscuits biscuit biscuits don't use cream crackers and a tin greased and lined if you want 20 mil is it 30 centimeters. 33 30 centimeters 30 centimeters across oh no 20 oh no 20 20 across. Now I have washed my hands, so I'm going to go over to the stove now, take out the kitchen with me. Oh, welcome back. There's the melted butter, and here's the biscuits that we put in the food blender. You can mash them up with a rolling pin in a bag if you want, in a tea towel, whichever way you can. Oh, in it goes. Half the kitchen again. Then get a wooden spoon and stir all the butter in. Oh, sounds like a sandpit. Right, when you've mixed it all up, bang it in your tin, Lynn. Push it round. Press it down all the way round so that when it cools it sets back into a biscuit again literally. Then we put it in the fridge for about an hour. In the meantime I'll show you how to make the topping. Okay right we've done the base that's in the fridge cooling down. Next thing is you need to melt 150 grams of milk chocolate and 150 grams of plain chocolate. So just put it in a bowl over some hot water and it will come out like that. Okay, don't let it get red hot. Just very gently let it melt. Then you'll need some whipped double cream, 425 milliliters, which we've already whipped there. You will need some cream cheese, 350 grams. You can either use Philadelphia, which is expensive, or soft cheese from Aldi, which is cheaper. You will need 55 grams of caster sugar, white or brown, whichever you want. You will also need some booze, about three or four tablespoons of that, you'll hardly taste it. Okay, so what we do first is we put the sugar in there, like that, we try not to fall over, get a spoon, out the... off we go, sugar and cream cheese. Give it a good beat in. Naughty boy, naughty boy. Hi peeps. Next, you fold up the paper. Like that. And throw it away. Oh no, you fold in the cream. Right, walking stick down. Don't fall over now. Let's get it all in there. Cool. Blimey, I, don't, I think you're going to need a bigger tin than this near. It's going to be very high. Bye. Right, here we go. Fold it in. So folding means don't beat it. it. Means just fold it in gently, like so. Now, chocolate, cream cheese, cream sugar, folded, in folded. Plonk that in there.
and the noise you can hear in the background washing machine when we bought it it said it's the quietest one on the market in 1886 right fold this in I hope you got this right now mm -hmm. god blimey can I have some Baileys please sous chef right four tablespoons of this if you're allowed and if you're old enough if not tough that's about four in it what do you reckon Probably made it too wet now. Mmm, tastes nice. Yum, 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 yum. Right, into the tin. Oh. Excellent. I've been told to leave some left in the bowl so the camera lady can dip her bananas in it. I wouldn't possibly do that. And there we have it. Now, it goes back in the fridge for at least four hours. Then you can decorate it with whatever you want. Strawberries, bananas, chipmunks, melon, peaches, potatoes, whatever takes your fancy. And I uh, hope you enjoy it. Don't eat too much. And I'll see you next time on Paul's Cooking. <laughs>